every time you're out in the surf, you're thinking about what you could do to make the board work a bit better or do something a little bit different. I'm Stephen O'Donnell, a surfboard shaper from Sydney. And yeah, I've been doing it now for 50 years. Didn't I treat you right? just part of the culture in those days to be interested in surfboards and, and the shapers were quite well known. There was a lot of very famous surfers from around here that were well known shapers like Midget Farrelly and Nat Young, you know, ex-world champions that so you you aspired to being like them and naturally you wanted to learn to shape like them as well. There's that many surfers in the world now that there's it's a big money industry, so they've they've had to you know they've had to figure out ways of mass producing them, shape them on shaping machines, and build them in places in Asia where the, the labour's cheaper and the environmental restrictions aren't as heavy and things like that. So I don't think it'll be um, as well respected as it was when I was younger. You know, being a shaper won't won't be looked upon as the creative sort of driving force of the surf industry as it used to be. It's a pity because it's a really good trade, it's a really good art and there's not as big a career path for a young guy to learn to shape now. It's hard for them to make a living out of just being a shaper. Didn't I treat you right?